So we're going to go to a little bit of the upper, it targets more the upper back, uh, the upper part of the spine, YTWLs. So the arms are straight and they're going to come up and back down again. But keep your arms locked out. So locked out and as close by the ears as much as you can. I'm just going to change this camera angle a minute. So the, the big one for this is, oh, this mic's good, okay. That the arms are as straight as possible. So keep the arms locked, no, no, I'm gonna use this tip. Keep the arms locked out, don't bend them at all. You're only lifting them up, trying to get the palms together as close, as much as you can keep the arms straight. Are your arms by your ear, so get the arms back. Super. Lower the arms down, I say lower the arms down, you're gonna bring them up to that height now. So we're in T's now, so the palms are facing each other for this one, and you take the arms out to the side. Then you take the hands slightly back and then focus on the in between your shoulder blades. Can you hug and squeeze your shoulder blades into the spine and hold it there for four, three, two, one, and allow the arms to come forward. So the arms are quite high, about shoulder neck height. And again, take them out to the side, a little bit behind the shoulders, and then squeeze like mad, squeeze your shoulder blades towards the spine for four, three, two, one. One, and we'll do one more. So you should be feeling it within the shoulder blades now, in between the shoulder blades. Take the hands back, a little bit behind the shoulders, behind the back, and then squeeze. Four, three, two, one, and lower down. And that helps with the old round shoulders, the down just hump, all of these do. And now we're gonna go into the W's, or the chicken wings. So, from the front it looks like that, your arms are like a W, chicken wing, drop them down towards your waist, but don't allow the hand to come forward as you do that. In that, it's going to be hard, and I don't care if your lower back arches with this. If you take the hands back and your back arches, that's fine. But that particular muscle that fires up and does that is the one that lifts the spine and rolls the shoulders back. And then from there, I'm going to do this kneeling. You're going to take the arms up and then reach out. It's as if you dive into a swimming pool. And then drop them back down again. As low down as you can, but keep the hands back. And then reach up as if you're diving into a swimming pool. Do a few more of them. The key for this is keep the hand back and keep the arm back. Don't allow it to creep forward. And you're lowering it as low as you can. Again, your lower back might very well arch. You must have pulled the latissimus dorsi. And then reach up, reach up, reach up. Again, this is targeting more of the upper part of the spine and back. Anyone got a buffalo hump, a bit of a damages hump going on? The YTWLs do that. And make that one the last one. As we go into dumb waiters, that's the L's. So, that position there, the arm stays in contact with the body, the elbow stays in contact with the body. Now do this palms up first and then take the arms out to the side. Just hold it there for a count of four, three, two, one, and bring it back. And again, take it out to the side, palms up. Hold it there, four, three, I say hold it in, you're trying to get it back, 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 a bit more, a bit more, a bit more and bring it back. Now we're going to change the hand position, so you can see, so the palms are facing each other. And see how it gets you in the lower back, it, in the shoulders and in the arms. We do the same movements, but keep the arm in contact with your body. That should feel different. And again, is it a tendency for your lower back to arch or for your back to arch? That's fine. The muscle just doing its job. And we'll do one more. Good, and lower down. So that's the upper part of the upper back, the upper part of the spine. Let's work the other part of the spine lower down. This is good for piriformis, uh, second iliac lower back, tight lower back, and standing knee falls. 